come up to meet you Tell you I'm sorry You don't know how lovely you are I had to find you Tell you I need you Tell you I set you apart Tell me you love me Come back and haunt me Oh, and rush to the start Running in circles Chasing the tails Coming back as we are Nobody said it was easy Oh, it's such a shame for us to part Nobody said it was easy No one ever said it would be so hard I'm going back to the start Hello everyone, today we are comparing the Shure SM58 against the SE Electronics V7. What you heard earlier was me performing a track with both of the mics being used uh, one at a time. So we're going to hear to the isolated tracks later on. But first up, let me talk a bit about these microphones. So over here we have the legendary Shure SM58. It is a cardioid microphone. The SE Electronics V7 is a super cardioid microphone. Now the difference with this is with a cardioid microphone, the pickup pattern is mainly on the front and it rejects sound from the rear of the microphone. With a super cardioid microphone, it's a bit more focused. It rejects a bit of the noise from the side. However, it does do pick up a bit of noise from the rear of the microphone. Whether one is better than the other, it is not really the case of the super cardioid being superior to a cardioid, but it really depends on the venue and how the speakers are set up. So with a super cardioid, if you had the monitor smack right behind the microphone, it might pick up a bit of the monitor and feedback. Something like that can be easily fixed by swapping out to a cardioid microphone, or what you could do is you can actually just move the monitor to the side. So now let's listen to some of the isolated tracks. First up, you're gonna hear the vocals only from each microphone. And in the track, I was singing about four inches away from the mic. And once we're done with that, we're gonna move on to the isolated tracks of me singing two inches away from the mic. Come up to meet you, tell you I'm sorry. You don't know how lovely you are. I had to find you, tell you I need you, tell you I set you apart. Tell me you love me, come back and haunt me, oh and I rush to the start. Running in circles, Chasing our tails, coming back as we are. Nobody said it was easy. Oh, it's
it's such a shame for us to part. Nobody said it was easy. No one ever said it would be so hard. Nobody said it was easy. Oh, it's such a shame for us to part. Nobody said it was easy. No one ever said it would be so hard. Oh. So from the track where I sang four inches away from the mic, there is may not be much of a difference from each microphone. However, I do hear a bit more detail from the V7 when I start belting out the higher notes. Where you'll hear the V7 shine more is when I start singing two inches away from the microphone, and you'll hear that in close proximity, the V7 and SM58 has a nice low end. And once I start going to the chorus of the song where I sing a bit more higher, the V7 pops out with more detail. Next, let's check out the handling noise of each microphone. Now, what's special about the V7 here is I'm going to open up both of these microphones. So if we take a look at both the mics here with the SM58, the inner coil is completely solid, stationary. And what's cool about the V7 is it actually has a built-in shock mount, kind of. So essentially what that does is it should reduce the amount of handling noise on the V7. So I have the 58 here and we're going to shake the microphone really hard. Now we're going to go to the V7 and shake this really hard as well. Now what you should be hearing is less noise on the V7 compared to the SM58. So in conclusion to me, I find that the V7 has much more detail on the top end while still having as much low end as the 58 when singing in close proximity. Let us know what you think about the tones achieved with each of these microphones. Which was your favorite? Leave a comment down below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more content and see you real soon.